Toward the end of a person's life, there are often many expenses people have to find a way to pay. And with help of organizations like hospice, they are able to do that. We've got a very special guest with us today, Anne Gotro, who is uh, going to talk to us about a very important mm -hmm. walk run happening. I guess a race you could call it. Michelle, you're going to be there this week. Yeah, right? I'm not going to be running or racing, but uh, <laughs> I will be there with Kimberly Van Scoy and Laura Songster from WMNG. And Laura, uh, Kimberly and I will be there to MC and do some awards for all those folks who will be participating. It should be a great day. And Anne, I know that this is a 14th annual, is that right? This is. This is our 14th yeah. year, and this is really our signature event. And uh, we're very excited this year because we've already, we have already have nearly 900 to 1,000 people that have pre-registered. So we're hoping for a great turnout. It's a huge turnout. It is. It is. We're excited. Can you tell us a little bit about hospice, too? Yeah. We're an organization. We're a nonprofit organization. And our mission is to help people at end of life uh, medically, emotionally, spiritually. It's a very holistic approach to providing the best quality of life possible for someone who uh, has a serious illness. All right, tell us a little bit about the run this weekend. Do you expect a big turnout, and, and yeah. how can people get involved? Yeah, we do expect a great turnout. And um, the best way for people to register is um, online right now, actually, until Wednesday afternoon. We're taking registrations at a website that's specifically designed for the run. It's support for hospice and that's the number four, support for hospice.org. And uh, this year's event, there's something new this year. We're having not only a 10K race, but there's also a 5K race and it's a 5K walk. So no matter what your uh, energy level is, there's something mm -hmm. out there for you. Yeah, it does sound like a lot of fun. And I know the kids are going to get a chance. There's something called the Deacon Dash. They're going to get to run with the Deacon mascot oh. for Wake Forest University. And it all starts, and is kicked off in Winston-Salem at the BB&T Field at the Deacon Tower. And exactly. it's a great spot. Something I always look forward to every year with the hospice run is the new art that's going to come out for the run. They always have an artist. Uh, do something new for each year, and this is kind of a fun logo. Yeah, That's a great T-shirt. Very yeah. colorful. Can people get these then with the run? When you pick up your packet, at, mm -hmm. if you register at the run, we're going to open registration on Saturday at 7 a.m. And you'll get with your registration, you'll get a T-shirt. And if people have pre-registered or would like to register before Saturday morning, um, I'll just quickly say on Wednesday we'll be at Fleet Feet Sports on Rinalda Road, and then on Thursday and Friday we will be out at the uh, actual Wake Forest Field and doing registrations all afternoon, both Thursday and Friday. Great. Well, thank you so much. Have lots of fun out there, you and Kim yes. and the rest of the gang. Once again, the Hope Run is this Saturday at the Deacon Tower, bb and Field. It kicks off at 8.30, registrations at 7. And if you'd like to support the run, you can visit their website. We have posted a link to it at WXII12.com. Just check out the Scene on 12 section.